Composting mortalities is the process of decomposing dead animals, often livestock, into nutrient-rich compost through natural microbial activity. Composting livestock mortalities is not just a sustainable way to manage waste. It's a vital part of creating a circular economy in agriculture. It turns what would be waste into nutrient-rich compost. The benefits of composting speak to its sustainability for both the environment and the needs of farmers. Composting piles can be constructed on-farm. This is because most equipment and supplies are already available on-farm, such as scraped manure, spilled or spoiled feed, and chopped straw or corn stalks. On-farm composting benefits the farmer because of the time constraints associated with mortality composting. All carcasses must be processed within 24 hours of death. Decreased risk of disease transmission. Composting piles are on-site. By composting on-site, farms reduce the need to transport carcasses, which can be a vector for disease spread. Effective elimination of disease-causing organisms like pathogens. According to the EPA, composting generates high temperatures capable of degrading the carcass and destroying disease-causing organisms. These high temperatures are achieved when using an appropriate mixture of carbon and nitrogen sources, moisture, sufficient base material, and sufficient carbon material covering the pile. High temperatures can neutralize many bacteria, viruses, and parasites that might be present in animal carcasses, significantly reducing the risk of disease transmission. And unlike other disposal methods, such as burial or incineration, composting involves controlled and contained processes that minimize the exposure of pathogens to the environment. Composting does not come without its challenges, but with proper care of composting piles, these can be overcome. Composting piles can produce odors without proper management. Ensure compost piles do not become exposed to excessive moisture that can result in odors by providing a covering. Composting piles require ongoing maintenance. To ensure proper composting, piles must be turned, kept moist, and their temperatures must be moderated to ensure pathogen elimination. Piles must be turned after an initial 90-day heat cycle and turned a second time, depending on the advancement of the carcass's decomposition. Maintaining appropriate moisture levels ensures that microbial activity will generate heat to effectively kill pathogens and weed seeds in the pile. Compost piles can attract vermin and scavengers. These can be reduced by fencing, traps, and rodent bait stations. In the end, composting offers a natural, efficient, and eco-friendly solution for mortality disposal. It's more than just a method. It's a commitment to sustainability and a healthier future for all.